Hey, I'm Matt Nichols at MrMaple.com, and thanks for clicking on another Mr. Maple Show video. We greatly appreciate the views, likes, subscribes, and we just greatly appreciate everybody uh, sharing the videos for sure. Today we're going to be talking about one of our favorite hydrangeas. This is Hydrangea macrophylla Miss Sayori. Hi, I'm Tim Nichols from Mr. Maple. We greatly appreciate you watching this video. Please take a minute and like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our weekly emails on MrMaple.com. We add 10 new fun, exciting trees every single Tuesday. That's something you'll definitely want to be a part of. So we're here in early July in western North Carolina. That's where Mr. Maple's located. We're actually in East Flat Rock, right next to Hendersonville, North Carolina. And we're zone 6B. And this is one of my favorite hydrangeas to grow. It's an amazing plant. This tree has dark red foliage and pink blooms. I think the blooms are spectacular, but what makes this plant even more unique is that foliage. The foliage is a dark red, and it contrasts exquisitely with that bright pink flower. Those blooms are going to come out over that. The tree's going to have greener older growth with dark burgundy new growth flushes, and it's really going to make the perfect palette for those blooms. Miss Sayori is one of the best hydrangeas. I really love it. Matt really likes it for the foliage, which is fantastic. I really love it for its bloom. It has a double bloom, so each flowerette in the bloom itself is a double flower. And on that flower, it's a, almost a white to light pink rimmed in a darker pink to pink red. It makes such a contrast with itself and that darker foliage that it really stands out. This is going to be a hydrangea you're going to want to cut, bring in all the time because the blooms are so beautiful. You can enjoy it in the garden. And this is one that you'll really love to photograph because every photograph turns out fantastic on Miss Sayori. So there are so many great uses for Miss Sayori. Uh, this is a hydrangea that's gonna, you know, go in place of any regular hydrangea you're growing in your garden, but have a lot more flash for sure. But we do recommend some late day shade for the best foliage and blooms. This plant is just some amazing color contrast. So, Put this in a container, it's going to look awesome in the patio garden as long as you're getting some late day shade on it. It's definitely going to go any place in the garden where you're getting some late day shade but you want some flash in the garden. So this plant works great for cut flowers. You know when I'm doing cut flowers for this one I like to get a little bit of the foliage in there too because it's going to have some deep contrast to it and it's just a, a photographer's dream for this plant because it always looks cool. It's got a lot going on and that foliage I think is one of the best palettes for hydrangea blooms I've ever seen. Everyone always talks about all the beautiful hydrangeas in Japan. And this one actually came from Japan. It was an introduction from Ryoji Iri, and it was named after his fiance, his wife now. And this plant is just striking and amazing. It actually won the 2014 Plant of the Year at the Chelsea uh, Show, Chelsea Flower Show. And this plant, it deserves a place in your garden. If it's in a container or if it's in the landscape, you're going to really love and enjoy this plant. Miss Sayori makes a nice small shrub reaching about three to four feet in height by about three to four feet in width in 10 years. It makes a great container plant because of this, because of this small size. And this burgundy foliage contrasts so well with the blooms that something that's easy to bring your garden out to your patio, your driveway, out to next to your pool. You want to give it some protection from the hot afternoon sun for the best growth on this plant. But Miss Sayori is going to be a showstopper that's really going to show off in your landscape and garden. So here we have an up close look at Miss Sayori. This is my favorite hydrangea. It's just so colorful. Um, you can see this blooms. The, uh, they're more in that early white stage. They'll actually get to a little bit more bordered to them as they develop. As the bloom matures, the, the border gets a little more prominent on the edges. And that foliage is just to die for. I mean, that foliage is amazing. That darker foliage just contrasts so nicely, especially when you get that bloom with that pink red border. I mean. That's just so showy in any landscape and garden. Yeah, the foliage is exceptional on its own. I mean, it's going to bring form and texture to your garden, not even when it's in bloom. I mean, you're going to get this form and texture and that darker color, which I think is exceptional. But, I mean, it's, 
it's hard to beat this one for a hydrangea when it's in flower. It's, uh, it's quite amazing. Uh, it's definitely one I would recommend adding to any hydrangea collection. And it's a plant that I think every garden should have. Those double blooms, they're, they're so beautiful on each floweret just being double, but it actually makes the flower a lot thicker and fuller overall. Yeah, here we have a more juvenile bloom just starting, and then the bloom we focused on a second ago is a little bit more mature bloom. So you can see how that bloom has a little bit more of that edging to it. So each each uh, little flower there has its own like dark border to it. So it's a little bit more defined in its pink and white, where they start out a little more white, get to pink, and then they, they kind of mature to this really beautiful contrast all within one bloom set. That foliage is just something that you don't find on many hydrangeas. And this is a plant you're gonna really love in your landscape or garden, container, or even cut flower in your house. Hey, thanks for watching our Miss Sayori video. We greatly appreciate it. We're doing a lot of videos here on the Mr. Maple Show. We do a lot of plants besides Japanese maples. Uh, we're still continuing our Fun Flower Fridays, so check out our Fun Flower Fridays. That's every Friday at 10 a.m. We had some cool flowering plants. Not sure how much longer that one's going to keep going on, but it's something we plan on bringing back every year. Uh, so definitely check that out. There's always 10 new exciting trees added to Mr. Maple every single Tuesday at 10, so it's always something new and exciting coming down the pipeline. We ask that you go and subscribe to that on our website. Uh, you can just simply add your email there. You'll get all those notifications. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share, and like this and comment. That's going to give us the best chances to get up in the algorithm so more people see the video. And that greatly helps our nursery out. So we greatly appreciate that. Thanks for clicking on this video. God bless and have a great day. If you're still watching at this point, in the comment section below, comment your favorite hydrangea.